YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here back in the legend. Dairy campaign <laughs> with West Rome. Hope y'all enjoyed the stream yesterday. Had fun doing it. Um, wasn't quite as long as I probably really wanted to just because I had to get onto the Warhammer stream as well. And hopefully y'all had your questions answered there. I'll be continuing to answer those questions in the comments. And it is spring break this week. Well, at least for, for some people in the U.S. I don't know if Europe or Australia or Asia or any of the other or Africa or any of the other continents do anything like that. Um, but I was going to do some more live streams this week. Uh, I'm going to do probably a couple during my lunchtime so that hopefully it's a little more accessible to people across all time zones. And then I'll try and do a couple during the evening. So just keep an eye out. I'll get those scheduled. And um, you can kind of get a feel for when they're going to be coming your way. Uh, but that'll be during the week just to kind of see if you all continue to enjoy, you know, the live stream stuff. I seem to get good response to live streaming. So... And it lets me, you know, interact with y'all, and that's fun. So hopefully uh, that will be something that you're interested in. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn because that's what I was ready to do. Uh, the game saved right, right on my turn end, right before the turn end. So let's go ahead and get through this turn. Woo! All kinds of enemies on our shores there, and they're going to immediately attack me, the Caledonians. And I uh, don't know whether or not we can stop them. It's a good question. I mean, are those Scotha's teachers? No, Celtic Axe Band's still going to be very difficult to stop. If it was Scotha's teachers, I'd be beyond screwed. Uh, yeah, it's still going to be tricky to stop, but let's see what we can do. It is possible that we can stop it, or at least damage them quite badly. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, did I hit Sally Forth? I think I just hit Sally Forth. Yeah, I'm just going to concede defeat here, because if I accidentally hit Sally Forth... Yes, I did. Wow, that was stupid. Clicked the wrong one. Yeah, so I'm going to concede defeat here, because this is over. <laughs> over before it starts. I have my other armies nearby though, and we can defeat these guys. Um, so we'll get rid of all these guys, and then I gotta get I gotta get that transport fleet over and just make sure that we are keeping an eye on anybody trying to enter our waters. I was busy replenishing, but obviously I'm just gonna have to keep it there where I can keep good line of sight. Um, so we're just gonna concede defeat because having accidentally clicked uh, onto an open ground battle, there's no way we would have won that. None at all. So these Caledonians get lucky. I misclicked. They're going to get away with murder there. I could reload, but, you know, we'll be all right. Actually, I can't reload because it saves right before the battle. So, yeah, there would not be any reloading. So the Caledonians are going to come in and screw up at uh, everything at Pompaleo. Pomp Pompaello, or however that is. Yeah, so they got everything all screwed up. They're going to run off, too. Bunch of chickens. I'll come in and wipe out what's left near Pump, uh, Pump, uh, Pump, uh, Oh, wow. We're going to get attacked by a huge stack of Visigoths. Three stacks of Visigoths. But I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good as long as I got these crossbows. That is a considerable amount of Axemen. Same thing. Wow, that is like Axe Spam. Straight Axe Spam. But that's okay. They don't have much cavalry. So I can get my cavalry outside. We can use it for rear charges. My Armageri will be quite good at defending. And then we'll basically use the crossbows and the... Uh, Matiari to create some kill zones basically for us and we can probably kill all if not nearly all here but hopefully we don't get my faction leader or er, faction air killed if not I guess Sextus will become the new air sooner than we had originally planned but this is why we fortify so that if we get attacked by all these stacks that we have a chance to win the towers will of course cause good damage for me the Romans for some stupid reason build gigantic forts that are a lot harder to defend rather than having like four entry forts you end up with six entry forts and it is really a bad idea i wish that you had some say in the design of the fort that you were laying down that would be kind of cool for them to have added that because this is a poor defensive design it's way too large on the inside looks like they have chosen uh rainy weather to attack me in which that'll hurt my flaming shot a little but it's not going to be that big a deal so as far as Armageri goes, I can cover four entrances with Armageri and then a couple with this and one more with the spears. We're going to have one entrance that's going to be a little bit um, exposed at some point. We do have deployables that we can use, though we do have to be careful about using them. I want these guys not on fire at will. Same thing with the Matiari. Not on fire at will. I don't really know where the enemy is going to come from, but I'm going to do something similar where I put all my guys basically in these like little, basically just put them in murder holes here. 
and we will move um, we will move our spears and our general to cover the entrances that aren't going to be immediately assaulted by the best and biggest parts of the Visigothic army. So this will just kind of be a preparatory deal here. Yeah, like if we start this up and our general's in any immediate danger, we'll take care of that. So... I'm going to just put him in Testudo. We'll switch over to Shield Wall if someone's actually going to attack him, but I'll try not to let anybody attack him. We're going to want to get our cavalry out of the fort immediately. Um, this unit with the Javelins, I want to hang on to it. Same thing here, because those could be very handy. These units right here are light, but they're quite good in melee, so potentially able to cause a horrendous amount of damage with them. I want a Balistari to kind of point-blank support each of these Armageri murder holes that I have set up. And then the Matiari can support this one here. And then looks like we need one more with Matiari right here. So we've got all that covered. I don't believe any of my guys are on auto skirmish. They are not. That is good. So the only other thing we need to do is lay down our deployables where it makes the most sense. Let's go ahead and put our Palatina Guard back just a little. And just to make sure that cavalry can't get at our general. And we can try and remember this. We're going to put some... I don't think there's a lot of cavalry for the enemies. But I'm going to put a stake line. If I can figure out how to do it, I guess I need to right click. Yeah, I'm going to put some stake lines right here in front of my general so that if he gets charged by cavalry, that um, he'll be safe. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some stake lines here. And we'll go ahead and use these Suedes Caltrops. But we're going to have to watch out again for our own cavalry. Because they can cause friendly damage. But, I mean, we might as well place them in the hopes that we actually catch an enemy with them. We'll exit the uh, premises over here. Okay, let's start the battle and just see where the enemy comes from. See one army back there on the side of my general. And one army coming from over there. It's going to be hard to say where we should put these guys. Because we have guys coming from both ways. Definitely think my general's in a bad position, though. Let's bring... Let's bring the Armageri this way. Gosh, I don't know. They're coming from right on that side, though. Yeah, I don't I don't really know the best way to do this, because I really don't want my general to get engaged by these units. Kind of almost just thinking... What if we take one of these units... Let's just take one of these units and cover that gap. Actually, let's bring our general over here and bring this one over here. I think we can get there in time. Let's just take our cavalry and keep it safe. Keep it way out of the way for now. This crossbow is going to be needed over here. Oops, accidentally bumped my microphone. Apologize. Okay, yeah, we could potentially have enemies coming from all sides, though. To be fair, this side doesn't look like it's really seeing the highest likelihood. Let's get over here and cover that entrance. Kind of want to get a crossbow over here instead. Let's pull these guys back. Let's go ahead and shield wall the Armageri. That makes sense. Oh wow, these ones are barely going to get here in time. Hit these guys. Let's get here. Shield wall. There's some mercenary gothic falcsmen that just came in. I'm going to hammer them with some Matiari and other units. They're going for my tower. I'm actually... I'm hammering them with my crossbows. Let's go barrage. Crossbows target right there into the pikes. Let's get this set up, Matiari. Destroy that unit before it gets my tower. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, oh crap, you can't slow motion, but I can pause. Not that that helps me much, because then I can't move around. Well, we're just gonna have to continue the battle and just make sure 
Bellastari, target there, target the Axeman. Crap, our general's gonna have Axeman all over him momentarily. The only thing we can do is kite some of those guys back. Uh, we're not getting attacked over here, so let's take one of these spearmen and start running that way to help my general. The general's gonna have to go into a shield wall. Okay, let's get our cavalry moving so that we can try and get rid of these guys as soon as we can. There's a blob of enemies over here. Save your ammo. We're going to need that. We've kind of got a big, like I said, a big blob right there. I'm just kind of hammering them with crossbow fire. This is a bit of a concern right here where we've got guys streaming into the fortress. I'm going to hit them. Okay, let's take out this axe unit. Let's already take these guys out, trap those guys. I'm gonna get a rear charge there. This blob over here is getting destroyed by crossbows. This blob right here needs some assistance. Crap, they're trying to get rid of my tower though. We gotta, we gotta stop them from getting rid of that tower. Okay, the rear charge was successful. Just stop those guys. My general's under attack, so that's also quite bad. We need to rear charge that axe unit. Crossbows. We need to route this unit before it takes our tower. I think we will. Okay, let's cease fire right there. Cavalry, get in there and take out those cavalry raiders. Take out the uh, bowmen. Let's take these guys out. Which crossbows are firing? This one's firing, and it's worth my while for sure. It's killing, killing a lot of Gothic Warband and other units. Let's reposition it to where we can get a proper rear charge position. Okay, this is really not a good position for my general to be in. Took a lot of damage there already. Let's bring this Armageri up to see if we can help out my general. We're going to need the crossbows here. Okay. Yeah, not being able to pause is certainly going to make this a problem. I hear an Onager firing in the distance. Let's send a unit out to kill it. We got rid of the bowmen. This cavalry probably ran over my own Caltrops. I did. Holy crap, I knew I would forget that. That's why I half just about didn't set them down, and I certainly shouldn't have. Those guys are almost out of ammo. I'm just going to ignore them so they get in the cavalry unit all the way out there. Okay, this uh, this little death trap over here is going to be... Uh, we need to get rid of these guys, too. Let's get this uh, unit and get it repositioned, because we're going to need it elsewhere. Let's go ahead and start running this cavalry round to get back at all the uh, skirmishers who are over there. Just keep the cavalry there. Let's move up this Armageri to support against that blob. And we're going to need to... Let's go uh, heavy shot right into this blob. Our Armageri over here taking a lot of damage. And we could potentially lose some. So that's not good. And I'm going to need help with this this gap, so I need a crossbow or a Matiari over here immediately. This unit can come over to support since we're not being attacked there. Really? Look at that. 62 men left in the unit and my general dies. That is such a bunch of horse crap. Okay, the Matiari are going to be needed over here. Okay, let's get over here. Their archers have fired most of their ammo. Let's get this Ballastari over here. We're going to need it. Let's go clean up the archers. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this or not. I mean, with my general dead already, that's certainly not good. I'm about to be rear charged here. Let's turn around. I'm going to use my Matiari to rear charge in that scenario. We've got another Armageri. Let's keep our crossbows away from their pikes. Yeah, the general having routed is a big 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 problem uh actually ignore the stupid archers they don't even have any ammo get over here and rear charge this blob do it in a hurry see if we can save it take out the pikes take them out with haste we were able to rear charge the gothic falksman which did some serious damage on the charge 
crossbows are going to be able to wreck the pikes. Got a nice rear charge there. We need a rear charge here too. There are pikemen though. That's a bit concerning. Let's throw our Matiari into that fight. Again, our crossbows are wrecking the pikes. This pikeman might take down the tower. I can't let that happen, so I'm going to attack it. I think we can defeat it. I'm on fire at will right here, or will be, so I'm going to target that blob. Dad damn it, get away from my Ballastari. Uh, we got another Armageri here. Let's get it over here to help. We need the Spearman over here to help. Just kill that pike already. Okay, we've rear charged the crap, or we've unloaded a ton of javelins on this group. Let's see if we can um, get rid of them. My Armageri are taking these guys down. It should keep my tower intact. That's actually going to be big. Matiari should get rid of the pikemen here. Did I? Really? My Ballastari shattered because it got attacked by a dang unit over here, the Germanic nobles. Dad gummit. It's so freaking frustrating. I got a nice rear charge over here, and we've got a pretty big waiver amongst all these units, though some of it's just like Gothic, Gothic Levy and Pikes and other stuff, but getting rid of all these units we can is going to be pretty important. Just attack. Get in there and attack that crap. We need these Armageri to get over here and help mop that up. Same thing here. We're going to have to pull all of our units. Crap. Dang it. Stay away from my crossbows. Matiari, you should have finished these guys off already. Just get some of our Armageri. Where's my, where's my other crossbow unit? What the heck is it doing out here? The enemy have rallied their units. Well, that, I'd say that's a big mistake. Mounted my mounted brigands are the only cavalry I have left. All the rest of my cavalry managed to rout, so that's extremely unfortunate. Take these guys out. Get in there. Get the mounted brigands away. Mounted brigands away, please. Away, please. Yeah, my caltrops killed all my own guys. This is probably one of the crappiest battles that I've fought in a long time in terms of how well I've done, and we're going to lose. Let's get our Matiari into that fight. Yeah, we're, go we're definitely going to lose. With this uh, Ballastari way off the map, then there's pretty much no hope there, and I'm just going to get overwhelmed uh, by other units. Have this Armageri here. Problem is, where can I get my cavalry in here? see if we can kind of scoot through here without hitting any more of those caltrops. Looks like we can. So let's get this cavalry. My Matiari are kind of holding the line momentarily. Let's get this cavalry over here. See what we can do. I've got my crossbows coming back from routing. Just need to get them back in here. Let's come pin this blob. We just need to get around the back of this uh, blob and rear charge it. I'd still, even though I'm not going to win because of my poor control of my army, I would like to at least cause a tremendous amount of damage. The faction air died. He wasn't that great anyway, but, you know, we got him killed. Mounted brigands getting a ton of kills. We should route off quite a bit of that blob. Stupid Balastari got... That gummit got engaged with this uh, Onager unit, which has been under constant tower fire and somehow isn't dead yet. Germanic nobles is sitting here wavering. I'm sure their general's not dead, though. Mine, of course, died with 60 men left. Just kill that thing. Okay. get my guys together. I'm going to need my Balastari to do a lot of work. And with what I have left, I don't know that I can win, but I can I can certainly cause a lot of damage. Uh, the tower fire is going to be relentless. Wish the towers would quit firing towards my own men. 
Okay, as this axe unit goes for that tower, I will shoot them with my Balastari. I don't think these units have particularly good armor or anything, so I'm actually going to switch to Flaming Shot. Um, and I'm just going to... I'm going to barrage all over these guys as quick as I can kill them. Flaming Shot has the highest base damage. That's why I'm using it. I don't know if it's necessarily the best. I can't see the armor on these units to know whether... Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a lot of kills pretty quickly. And then they're going to keep trying to capture the towers. That'll give my guys a chance to rest. And then possibly I can use my cavalry to rear charge a lot of the remaining units, but I mean, the, just the charge bonus alone from a lot of these remaining units is going to make this very difficult to pull off. I'll definitely use everything I can here with the crossbows. And just with them alone, I should be able to get quite a few kills. But there was three stacks of Visigoths here. Three full stacks of Visigoths. This will at least soften them up considerably. I have more armies around, so this this loss will be pretty quickly overcome. They are about to get rid of my tower there, though. That's unfortunate. Fire. Fire, crossbows. Fire, please. Fire, please. Fire, please. Thank you. Got to get away from there with my Balastari. Let's fall back. Um, do I lose if they capture the fort? Capture point. No, it's just a capture point. Just need to make sure I don't run my mounted brigands onto any more um, caltrops that are sitting around. Crossbows are getting substantial kills on the uh, warband. We're up to 186 kills, which is not the world's best for the crossbows, but it's not bad. I'm going to go to regular shots so they fire faster and more accurate, I hope. One more good volley, and we should pretty much put these guys under. There's more of them pouring onto the map. So many of these Axe warband, or Germanic warband. They're going to capture this point, and it's going to give them a bit of a morale boost. Golly, these guys just don't want to rout. They're under like a withering barrage of fire from my towers and my crossbows. I'm 207 kills on the crossbows. Only got five volleys left, so we're going to have to make them count. Uh, a shield wall from Armageri back here will be pretty effective at holding back enemies. My Matiari will make good reinforcing troops, and we'll just try and use our cavalry to quickly smash enemy axes and minimize their damage. Get the heck off my tower. I can't remember if they can capture a tower while it's... Um, I'm going to stop caring about the tower for a minute. Just make sure that these guys are safe. If I end up winning this, I'm going to be pretty thrilled about it. Those Germanic Warband are turning their sides to my crossbow. Well, actually, that's a shield side. Save your ammo. Wait till they turn their back to you. Okay, this is, there's going to be a blob of Axemen over here for a minute, so let's hit that blob. My guys are fresh again, so let's barrage and get as many shots over here as we can. Yeah, you're not going to catch my mounted brigands, so keep dreaming there. 230 kills. They got my tower finally. There's still more Axe units pouring on, and now there's bows and... Spears. Oh my gosh, there's just there's so much stuff coming my direction. Almost to the end of my crossbow ammo. I'm going to go ahead and charge these... Uh, they turned around into my charging cavalry, so I'm going to charge them from the back with my swords because we've got to knock these guys out. We've got to do so very quickly because they have reinforcements coming. We should be able to route them. Get back, get back, get back, get back. I can't have my crossbows routed even though they're out of ammo because I need that. Get 
back over here. Don't route, don't route, don't route. No. Gosh dang it. I just don't have enough cavalry to pull off the amount of routes that are going to have to happen here, I don't think. The towers are still hitting my own my own men. I mean, we're going to end up getting a lot of kills, but this is certainly a big flop on my part. Like, this should have been winnable um, if had I potentially played it right, but I did not. Part of me thinks that, I mean, the whole murder hole thing worked out, but it also let a lot of their guys in the fort. About half wonder how it would have been if I would have tried it a different way. I don't know. Since they didn't have a lot of cavalry, I could have potentially tried to get my crossbows outside the fort. You will win if the time runs out, huh? I don't know if I can run the time out or not, though. Because my guys will probably route. I mean, I'd have to get out of the fort, which is possible. These guys, I don't know what in the world they're doing. Oh, I'm going to lose my mounted brigands soon. Just try and keep those guys busy. Keep them getting shot by towers. Yeah, this is probably pointless. This is frustrating. I should have done better here. No one to blame but myself on this one, so... I mean, of course, there's usually not anybody to blame besides myself. Forward. I mean, if I can get their guys to follow me around a bit longer, that's not going to upset me. Are there sweetest caltrops over here? There are not. I need to get around here and help my guys who just got flank charged and they're going to take a ton of damage because these axe units have a pretty good charge and their charge is going to be exacerbated greatly on legendary as well as their attack. It's like 40 on normal so it's probably like 80 or 90 or whatever the heck it is. I don't know what they do. Probably like a 50% jump. Their guys are kind of around the edge of that gate there too. See if we can do the last couple rear charges here and get rid of the uh, Germanic Warband. The the arrow towers and all that other stuff, plus the just the my men having taken losses. Let's get out of there. Set up a rear charge on this unit over here before my unit routes. Hurry, get into combat before you route. The pathfinding is all funky here too. We should be able to route this last unit of Germanic Warband, but I may lose my cavalry after that. Should have taken so much better care of my cavalry, and we could have easily won this late game by just rear charging all these guys out, probably. Like, kind of smashing them up one by one. Yep, so we are definitely going to lose now. My guys are going to want to flee, so there they go. At least we ended up killing a lot of Visigoths in the end. They lost 5,000 men out of their 6,500, so... It's not like they walked away with that one in some kind of brilliant battle. I did make a ton of mistakes, but we still managed to get a considerable number of kills. We were outnumbered 3 to 1, and we at least made the Visigoths pay dearly for it. And I'm actually going to get away with a decent chunk of the army here, unless they can chase me all the way. Finding shelter. Yeah, so that army will actually be able to recuperate pretty quickly. See, I don't know that that was... I mean, the Visigoths definitely won, but I don't know that that was a good move for them. They did push the Swaby back, so we're going to need to send help. Really? The Swaby lost to those... I beat the snot out of those Visigoths, and that auto-resolve bullcrap right there just got the Swaby killed. Dude, that is horse crap of the highest degree. Those Visigoths got the crap beat out of them. They lost all but 1,500 of their men there, and they moved up and took out like a big giant Swaby stack. That ticks me off. I'm going to go blockade their stupid port with my fleet. These guys are coming back in for another run at Vienna. They'll probably actually raise the settlement at this point. If they raise that settlement, I swear by everything holy, I will kill every Saxon on the planet. But that's probably what they'll do because it's been sacked recently. No, they're going to 
liberate it, like put some galls there, whatever. Sextus is about to come up there and lay the smack down on those losers. Holy crap. Yeah, good. The Visigoths got hit by the Swabians, scattered. And the Swabians are going to attack this uh, stack of Visigoths, and they're going to get help from me and then their other stacks here. So just going to auto-resolve balance. We might lose a couple of our units, but this will get rid of that Visigoth uh, stack. So the Swaby helping to avenge me a little bit there. Appreciate that. It's a good ally. I'm going to take on their warriors. So that's going to leave the Visigoths pretty scattered. So now might actually be a good time to take my other army there. Move out of Aquelia down to Solana and try and finish the Visigoths off between my fleet. And then we'll take that other army back and uh, uh, we'll recruit better forces and other stuff. So here comes the Geats. They're going to come in and take that town. So we'll just come back in, get both my armies together and take these guys out. So at least the action stays uh, stays pretty frequent here. We're just about to a turn end. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here and start another. Air of Carthage signing out for now.